Hey everybody, welcome back to Franbo. Just loaded up the game and this is what I'm greeted with. Good start. Fran's just looking at her parents again. Uh, last episode, we crashed the spaceship. Or we didn't crash it, but the spaceship crashed with the skeleton dude. And now we're home and we met up with the doctor. He said, here, I'm going to dig up your parents. And that's where we are. we're at right now. And uh, he's, I think he said he was going to look for more clues or we had to look for more clues. Or was it him? Uh-oh. Oh, okay. I was gonna be like, oh no, he's gonna see his car seat, and he's gonna get angry. But luckily, the demon showed up and took him away. So now he's not gonna yell at us for ruining his car seat. I was really concerned for a second there. Vanished into hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love. You. <laughs> no. Game over. We lose. You read the end. Now, I think there's five chapters in this game. I think we're getting near the end, though. You broken little girl. The House of Madness invites you inside. I still think she's there. You want to find those you love. In darkness, you must wake up. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. Wait, why is he trying to help? What? The House of Madness, Chapter 5. Oh, look! We might be finishing this this episode. I don't actually know. Probably not. Because these chapters tend to take a little while. Although the last two weren't that long. Wait a second. Aunt Grace? Is that you? <gasps> She's not in behind it all. My darling, you finally woke up. You're at my home, my dear. Am I really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. Why is she chained up? We're in the house of madness. So, mmm. Where's Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. Is she blaming the cat? Is she blaming the cat? What? He ran away, but what did he do? Watch. He's, oh, he coughed up a hairball like in the living room, and it was a whole thing. Well, your cat killed my sister, and your father, he is a traitor. Uh, Aunt Grace? I forget. <laughs> I leaned over to my microphone to, like, speak into it louder, but then my face probably went off the thing. Whoops. He's a cat! Her pants were decapitated. Yeah, it can't be true. He didn't do it. He's a cat. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one right. It was her. It was her. But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend. No, you can't blame Mr. Midnight because he's a cat. And yeah, cats probably do want to murder you. You know, because they're cats, that's what they do. But there's no way a cat could do what that cat apparently did. Which was decapitate him. But it's easy to blame someone else and take responsibilities. And she's admitting guilt right there. Take her away, cops. I'll always take responsibility for my actions. Even if they're not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they're untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Minute, unless Grace is saying she did it, which that was my other theory. Little, little shining friend, don't you worry about the lies. The secret of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining friend, go to bed, go to sleep. Oh, go, go to, go to bed and sleep tight, and forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, cry, and hate. The darkness wants to free you from all the disgrace. No, it doesn't seem like the dark. Darkness's motive there. That really doesn't seem like something the darkness would do. Sleep tight, my darling friend. I'm telling you, she evil. Oh, good, the door disappeared. Oh no, don't leave me here, Aunt Grace. Come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His clothes are so tiny. That's what I'm saying. He's a cat. Why? I hope he's just fine. What should I do now? Take a nap. 
tick-tock, tick-tock, crazy sound, it never stops. Now I think about it, the clockmaker said that time is a layered reality. Oh boy, here we go. Maybe there's another version of me in this room. Another time. Or I'm just imagining things. But if it's true, how can I make contact with her? Dr. Dern said everything is in my head. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh, it's the box. We have to use the key, which we don't have. It's this box. We have to use the key that we don't have. It has to be one of these things. Here, use the crayon. We've had the crayon forever. Use the crayon with the lock. Hmm. Cut off your hands. Wait, she looks really skinny, or is that just me? Are her Were her arms always that twiggy-like? Or has she been deprived of food? Hmm. Okay, she won't set the bed on fire. Hmm. Crown with bed, comic slippers, toy train, big doll, closet. Are there any monsters in the closet, I guess? There's a mirror. I don't remember having the door removed. Well, I had to click that? Really? They popped up the inventory thing, making it seem like I'm gonna have to use something in my inventory. No, I just had to click the door, it disappeared. The wind took all the magical dust away. Oh, hello. What are you doing in my bed? Are you sick? Oh, look, it's Fran. Your bed? It's my bed. No, I'm not sick. But you're chained. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? <laughs> I'm not a dog, and yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Whoa, you are myself. You really are. You think so? That means I managed to enter the ultra reality. Because I had to click the door. Okay. Did you meet Squidward already? He always talks about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means you're broken. No, I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross into ultra reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break physical limitation. I clicked a door that disappeared. I didn't do any of that. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. And who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Who the hell is that? Oh, and can you tell me why we could see these things we do? What if I help you unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. Good idea. Let's see if I'm Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. And Chris blames him for the death of my parents. Who's Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty. You know, our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock you. It so happens that I'm a key collector. Of course, you just have to be a key collector. Well, didn't she say be right back? Why is she still here? I'm her. Oh, sweet melody. Remember that from the beginning of the game? I'm different, Fran. This is bizarre. Take all the keys. Cool. What else we got here? A picture of Squidward and... The flying platypus. Yellow dress. Insane asylum jacket. Clothing to make shows. Drawing. Blankets. Just leave. Door's closed. Well, that's why you turn the knob. Master of keys, and she can't open that door. Okay. Let's see, which key? Freaking no. Try them all. Won't fit. Won't fit. Won't fit. Won't fit. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that works. But what about the box she has? No, her arms are way skinnier. Look at her arms. Yes, don't you... Oh, Fran, before I go. I didn't even read what she said. Just tell me that if we met someday, I should give you this. Here, I think it'll help you open something. Aha! Uh -huh. Jonas, you know him too? Wow! I keep on saying, I don't even know. It's Palantras. 
or something like that. I don't know. It's a giant flying freaking axolotl, so it doesn't... Who cares? <laughs> you tell me that if we met, you'd be ready for what's about to come up. Hey, cool. Ready for what? Tell me. Oh, no. I can't. She's coming. Be quiet. Good luck explaining this one. Come on, Fran. You must see the doctor now. See how little she was? What if this whole thing has just been in Fran's mind and she's been in the asylum the whole time? Hmm? What if her parents never existed? Don't go, little Fran. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is a bad, 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 bad nurse. She's been lying to the newspaper about me. Anyway, must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. Alright, Polantris. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I pressed it by the ears first. Twice to the left, once to the right. I rub its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him one... I take him once by the left ear and scream. Stop whining, you golden box. Press your eye again to open the door. So... Twice to the left ear, once to the right. Rub its only eye two times. Left ear. Eye. Left, left, right. Eye, eye, left eye. Oh, there are the ears. Hey, I'm a genius. Me smart. Hey, look, it's a cat key. Key shaped like a cat. Oh, what's this? This is a camera. The ECOG clock. Mabuka, Mabuka, wake up the mother Mabuka. The horn child is playing with the light. The Velokas are. The Velokas is angry. So the Velokas are angry, but okay, I guess in this alternative reality, grammar isn't a thing. Velokas is angry and shining too bright. Mother Mabuka, wake up, wake up, and give the child before the darkness ends. Give the child before the darkness ends. In the hand of the light, we must wake up. Eat clock, blah, 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 blah. Back of the giant cat. Okay, this is all nonsense. Empty case, working bulb, wake up the clock. Bottle of water, soap, one glove, black wire. Okay, so this is all the random crap I need. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Look, aliens. I love this comic. Do you? I like the part where the alien takes the girl to another planet. It's always nice to see new places. Yeah, this is where... I'm telling you, she's been in the asylum this whole time, and this comic is she's imagining it. Look, there's a train that never existed in the game. Look, there's a doll. So she at her home or Aunt Grace's home? Oh, doesn't this look familiar with the pine cone? And the creepy ladies? Wait, I can pick them up. I can move stuff. It looks like there's something there. Oh my god. Do you guys mind? Pinecone, get up there. Move this. There's like a key there too. I feel the texture. What could it be? Just stab it. Look, it's a key. I bet it can unlock something too. Oh wait, the cat key probably unlocks the thing in the cat. Ha! Guess that makes sense. I wonder if there's a certain thing. I wonder if there's a certain thing to do. Oh cool, I got a clothespin. I feel like there's an achievement I can get is what I'm trying to say here. Is that another key or is it just looking at Tesla? Okay. Matches. Random garbage. I'm gonna sneeze. I think the rock and the pine cone make a great couple. Yeah, okay. We did it. Like, there might be an achievement laid out somewhere here, but I don't know. Okay, we found some crap there. 
Mr. Midnight's bed. Okay, so we're definitely home. Not at Aunt Grace's house. Okay, I don't know why her cat's upside down. Look, there's a bunny. I didn't realize Fran lived in a bad part of the neighborhood. Excuse me, is someone down there? Yes, I'm a somebody. Have you seen a black cat? Fran, that's your question. You're talking to a tree floating somewhere in your house, and that's... Oh, God. No, I've not seen a cat. But I do see a black thing eating from me. <laughs> eating from you? I think it's Kamala. Are you all right? No, not really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. Well, I might be able to help you. I got rid of Kamala once all by myself. Really? That sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. Let's see what I can do. Don't worry. Turn on the garden hose. Okay. Is there any crap up here we can grab? Crayons, Latinum, Teddy, Ballerina. Yes, all in place. Yep, cool. Cuckoo clock. Cool, neat. Okay, let's come over here. A bunch of random garbage. Ah, peach dress for 20 days. Coat when it's windy and cold. Summer dress. That looks like the what the other ladies were wearing. Maybe not. Maybe I'm seeing things. Did something do with the button? I don't know. There's a hat. Shell. I am spam clicking everything. It has cat hair all over it. I won't like it. Why do you have a random lollipop in your freaking car? Don't look at me like that. Yeah, that thing's creepy. Yep. Yeah. See? This is why we click literally everything. Look at that picture. Who does that look like? Does that look like Alice from Alice in Wonderland? Why, yes. Yes, it does look like Alice from Alice in Wonderland. It looks like exactly like Alice from Alice in Wonderland. This is Alice from school. We like to play together. What have I said? What have I said from the start? Huh? I did it. We beat the game. Alice, Alice in Wonderland. That should be an achievement. So I beat the game. Who the hell is this? Oh, it's fair. All right. Now what? Let's examine. Okay, apparently I can't. Okay, whatever. Let's combine this with that. Excuse me. I think I know what I'm doing here. Really? I have to do that again? Yeah, I know. <sighs> Neat! He turned into a door! Let's go. Let's go! Oh yeah, this makes sense. So that was 101. That's definitely Fran. Hello, Fran. What a big guy. What are you looking at? Clearly you. I guess we can go to this door. Is anyone living here? Probably. Break in. He doesn't fit. It's number two. It should wait. There's a key. There's keys everywhere. That one has a square. I don't see any indication that this is for that, but... Because it's not. Well, we got a billion keys, so... There we go. What? Hey, look, another key. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. Um, that's a head that's talking on the wall. I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors that I wish to unlock. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. No. Well, we're screwed then, aren't we? It'd be hard to get that key without his permission. Reinforced teeth, I see. I'll see what I could do to take the key, then. And who are you, if I may ask? I'm Fred. Nice to meet you, friend. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Mabuka's den. Mabuka? Who the hell's Mabuka? You don't know who Mabuka is? You don't? Leave now. Just leave. It's rude. But Roberto, sir. I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not- oh. That's her. That's not him. <laughs> Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead, and I'll know. Okay, okay. Mabuka is the mother of darkness. Oh, okay, of course. Mother of darkness. Of course. 
The darkest darkness, the obscurity, the end of light. Buka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. Was that the bad one? No, that was like the ninth. I forget. I'm in the fifth reality? I thought Remor was the king here. Ah, Remor, the terrible black, the son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I've said enough. Alright, I'll be back later. I must get your friend's key. It's Squidward's clothing, but where is he? Take the thing. Inside the little house. I know that! I didn't even need your message. I freaking got it before that, you ding dong. Usually there's an achievement if you try to call the police. Plus they should all make the same tone when you, like not the same exact tone, but each number, the tone should be the same. I was gonna try to play a song, but I can't. Squidward forgot his hat. Maybe he forgot his head. No, that's him on the wall right there. So there's a phone there, we gotta get some number. Ooh, you look weird. Can't go there, there's no floor. Can I have that soap, please? The sound of my heart disturb you. No, the fact that we can see it disturbs me. You can't stop all of a sudden, and that would be the end. Dude, I just want the soap. <laughs> I don't like thinking about my heart's beat. I just want the soap. Soap! You having trouble with hygiene? Yes, terrible problems with hygiene. I smell like my flesh was all rotten. So, ew, do you, or are you just making that up? That sounds delicious. I don't think that'd be a problem. Maybe for you, just let me have the soap, you freak. All right, then take it. It's yours. Oh, he's happy. Be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. They eat their baby bodies and keep their heads. Their beautiful baby fit. Dude, what? That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. With that flower. Turned on the water. Okay, well, she can't wash her hands or anything. 103. I wonder if that's a thing. 103. Probably. Alright, dude. Here, eat this soap. Whoops. Hmm. I wonder if I have to feed him something. Nope. Stab him? Nope. Alright. Let's see if there's something else I can do here. We have another key. Oh yeah, it didn't work on that door. I guess we can try using it on this door. Hey, we're in. Ooh, look, an eyeball. Hello, Mr. Eyeball. I'm gonna steal that comb. Intruder, infiltrator. Why would you enter without presenting yourself? Oh, cool, it's talking. I'm Akula, the eye from beyond. Behold my beauty. Sorry, what big eye you have. You must be very, or you must see very well. I see everything, nothing less. Really, you didn't see me walking in. Everything, you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you royal, queen, princess? No, I don't own him. But we have a relationship, we're friends. Friends? How lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside a cage. The bear of a cage. See, we've already freed him from a cage once. Come on, Mr. Midnight. He's still down there inside the cage. Of course he is. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose, nose, fur is dark, black, sleep is night. Tim, my friend Mr. Midnight. I have to go find him. Mabuka is asleep, waking her. Okay, yep, yep, yep. I'm not afraid of her. No one's afraid of her. Let's just wake her up. Get the cat. Go home. Call it a day. If you take anything from my home, you are brave and I respect bravery very much. Sweet. Thanks, bud. Yoink. What else you got? What else you got? Okay. That looks like the picture from the other side with the 103. So that just turns off those lights. Can I take one of the light bulbs? That's a yes! You like that bad boy? Sweet. Let's jump into the painting. It worked! And here we are. Okay. 103. Won't budge me, I have to give it a coin or something. No, give it soap! Feed it soap! 
put the soap in the... Okay. Insert button. Damn it. I knew you will get that button. Can I take that bottle? I can take that bottle. Okay, we're going to take the bottle, fill it with water. Don't know why. I just feel like we should. But I need to go cut the button off the dress, which I should have done. I'm dumb. But I figured it out, so it's all good. I feel like we're flying through this. Yoink! My inventory's getting full of crap. Which is good, because that means there's very few items that are, there's left to grab. Because I don't think they'll make it so... Ooh, 103 does not look good. I don't think they would make it so that, you know, there'd be items you can't pick up because of your inventory. And we can put that rose in it, although I don't even think the rose is clickable. It just seemed right. I don't know why I did it, but it seemed right. Okay. Let's go talk to the machine. Still don't know how to get this key. We might get another key from this. Possibly. I don't know. Let's find out. Use. Bam. There's my button. Now what? Yeah, crank. Good song. Okay. That's an key. So, we can break the reinforced teeth of the skull now with that, probably. If they're, like, wired shut, wire cutter should do it. Okay, here we go. Use. I... Okay. I mm, didn't think she'd be breaking the... Okay. That was very rude, Fran. Anyway, we got the key. We still got all this other crap. We still got the phone. I don't remember seeing a phone number anywhere. But oh well. Let's crank this door open. Oh, you want to know what all this crap is? It's to make the camera. So I can combine that with the light bulb. Okay, hold on. Empty case working. Okay, yeah. Clock, one glove, black wire. Clock, one glove, black wire. Hold on. Isn't there a glove in here? sock balloons which I completely missed before yeah it wasn't something we need there's the bottle soap bar we're close is there a clock in here that we can yoink get out of here there is the cuckoo clock grandfather clock no it's a cuckoo clock grandfather clock would be tall and on the ground um so we don't have the clock yet. Can I combine the soap with the water? No, okay. So I guess we have to wait before combining everything. I guess. I don't know. Let's see what's happening in here. I will be taking that. Just, just poke the cat. No. Okay, we got the clock. So we just need one glove and black wire. Oh, there's a glove. Sweet. Now all we need is black wire. So hopefully we can get that up here. Unless I have to cut into something else down there. Oh, look, it's the fire guy. Hi, fire guy. Excuse me. I really need the key just hanging there. Wait, is that what's dropping in the background of these guys? Excuse me, but I do not talk to strangers. You don't need to talk. Just let me take the key. If I choose not talking to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. The hairbrush. How am I disappoint- Or how disappointing? I have a question. Are you stuck to this tree? I'm firmly attached. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. See you later. Yeah. See ya never again. Look, I found a magical- Magical hair comb. Isn't it great? I don't know. A hair comb? What is that? Well, it's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know, is it dangerous? Dude, you're on fire. No, it's not dangerous. It could be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. Alright, let's try it. Alright, promise you won't burn me, okay? I'd only burn you if I'm in danger. Be gentle, nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. Yo, you freaking loves it. There they go. What's happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. But how? You're a Lucifern. All Luciferns I've met do this. 
Really? Well, thank you very much. Feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. Yeah, just get the hell out of here. Give me the key. How are we going to reach that, though? That must be the key for door 103. I can smell You can smell it? I'm afraid I can smell it? What? Um... How do we get that, though? Empty case, bulb, clock, bottle of water, soap, one glove, piano keys, black wire. So the balloons aren't used for this. How do we get it? Can't reach from here. What to do? That's a damn good question, Fran. Climb the tree. Damn. Cat, can you do something? We, like, break into its wi- uh? It's the back of a giant cat. Must be for something important. Like, I don't- I don't actually know what. Balloons? No. Not balloons. I was gonna put the book in there. What the hell could go back there? We still gotta figure out what the deal with the phone is.